now we are visiting the zamia another member of cycadopsida the zamia plant shows underground rhizomatous stem it is subterranean in position some part of rhizome will be exposed to the air whereas major part will remain inside the soil the stem is slow grower the entire plant shows slow growth there are two types of leaves the green photosynthetic leaves which are pinnately compound they have a uh, rachis and the leaflets each leaflet is uh, leathery in nature and this is the characteristic of xerophytic plants basically the gymnosperms are xerophytic the photosynthetic leaves are alternately produced in between there will be development of non photosynthetic leaves which are brown in color and protective in nature so here at base we can see the non photosynthetic leaves so this is non photosynthetic leaf layer then the new new leaves are arising there which are photosynthetic later on they will become green we can just see here a newly arised frond now their compound leaves which are pinnately compound forming fronds is the characteristic of pteridophytes similarly formation of sarsinate vernation in newly developing leaves is the characteristic so here we can see the sarsinate vernation this is the characteristic of pteridophytes once again so in this way the cycads resembles with pteridophytes the reproductive structures are produced in cone cone are compact in nature so this is the cone this is a female cone so this plant is a female plant we will have two distinct plants most of the gymnosperms are dioecious in nature they are unisexual now as this plant is producing the female cone this plant is a female plant here we can see the arrangement of the megasporophylls and then there will be formation of two megaspores in case of zamia just we can see here the stalk and this stalk has two ovules which are present on both the sides this is the megasporophyll and there are two megaspores okay so this is the arrangement of female cone in zamia the plants have high ornamental value because they are slow growers do not need replantation repeatedly and the leaves are produced alternately green and brown leaves so fronts are not defoliating down so there is a less wastage or no wastage produced by these plants so this is the zamia